So my director told me to welcome everybody. So everybody, welcome to the Overland Kings booth. And welcome to the Manila International Auto Show. The Jack Episodes rig is a collaborative build. So it's not built just by Overland Kings. FSR built the suspension system. And uh, let me first name all the sponsors. <laughs> so we get it right. Okay, lang in direct. I want to thank Method Race Wheels, who sponsored the rims for this. This is a Method 702, um, running 295 Nito Trail Grapplers. So the Nito Trail Grapplers are the mud terrain tires from Nito, and it is the most aggressive trail tire in the range. There's a mud grappler, but in terms of trail, it is the most aggressive. It's also sponsored by Olin Suspension. So Olin's is a new suspension system that's been installed on the Hilux. Together with Olin's, the next sponsor here is PIAA. So it's running the PIA LP590, LPX590. So that's the, sorry, this is the seven inch, but it's the LPX series. Um, it's also running the PIA pod lights and the 40 inch LED bars. All custom installed by Overland Kings. Uh, up next, that's the main sponsors. Did I miss anybody? Right, I did. So it's also sponsored by Newton Power. So the dual battery system is from uh, Newton. Newton Batteries carries AGM lithium powers that was available for dual battery applications on the vehicle. Of course, the other brands that are part of this build is the iCamper. Uh, it's running the iCamper 2.0 iCamper Mini up top with the Linex finish on the roof tent. Also, the rack is uh, from Front Runner, and it's uh, currently mounted with two Wolf Back Pros on the top, with uh, the Max Straps on the front. On the other side, it is running the Mammoth Switchblade 270 degree awning, which is a freestanding awning. And uh, what a great coincidence because I just saw Jack walking by. So here's the owner. I better do this justice. My <laughs> init So sakto ka sa vlog, bro. <laughs> so, but kung ari wala nang iyare, wala lang gusto yung araw. So th those are the main sponsors, and what we have here, of course, the owner of the rig, perfect. Oh yeah. Overland Kings. Ah yeah, yung Overland Kings ang dalang, tamang timpla lang. <laughs> so when uh, when uh, Jack approached us for this, the car was already half built. And what we wanted to incorporate is all of the other things because this project is called Project Looper, okay? I think one important aspect that we added is to put the final suit a chest. Huh? So it's running a custom wrap designed by Overland Kings to incorporate Looper. And it's called Looper because it is designed to do the Philippine Loop. Right, yeah. bro? Yeah. So Philippine Loop. Uh, it's designed to do that. So in short, given that statement, all the gear that we put in the vehicle should answer that. In short, it should be able to stay out there three to four days. So for the power, we put in Newton power. So it's running lithium 400. We put 400 amp hours. 400 AH, bro. 400 AH of power for Newton. That's really heavy, but since it's lithium, it's lighter than AGM batteries. But it will be able to last longer than your normal uh, lead-acid batteries up front. It is powered by a DC-DC charger from Adventure Kings. And to, to top it all off, it has portable power from EcoFlow. So let me just quickly show you the... May EcoFlow, right? So this is running the... This is also a sponsor. So shout out to EcoFlow. This is running an EcoFlow river with the EcoFlow 100 watt solar panel. So what this does, this is the portable power that's incorporated to the check episode rig. So you have onboard power that's 400 AH combined with the EcoFlow river. So Jack, samo ginagamit yung ano, yung EcoFlow. usually uh, so lights and fans. I mean, whether it's a tent, whether it's a car, no. So yun. So sometimes it's also nice to have a combination of onboard power and portable power because, like onboard power, you're not able to bring that out. 
For the portable power, it's obviously portable. So, pwede mo hilain kung saan ka pupunta. Also, part of the system we put on Jack Episode's Hilux is the Mountain Mule Drawer Kitchen Drawer System. So, on the right side, it has a fridge slide which we have modified to drop down. Yon. And the reason it drops down is para may access. Yeah, madaling maabot. Hitang hita, di ba? Well, tumatak ba yan? Oh, Tumon, hamang malamig. Perfect. <laughs> malamig nga. Malamig nga. Tumatak po pala yung free. Yeah, zero. Oh, zero degrees siya, di ba? Pero hindi siya nag-yellow, di ba? Hindi. Pag nilagay mo negative, mag-yellow. No, I mean, yung fridge, hindi siya nag-yellow. Ah, oh. Yung laman, pwede mag yeah. <laughs> so the drop-down fridge, the fridge is currently a 35 liter Kings, but this is not the final form. We're still gonna put a 45 or a 60 liter. We're still deciding. Mm -hmm. On the other side, we have the Mountain Mule kitchen drawer system. So it has a dual burner. We did a little modification because si Jack, ayaw yung harang eh, no? Yeah, di kasi yung ano natin eh. Di kasi yung kalan. Kalan. No, yung kawali. Kawali pala. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the point. If you have any modifications that you want, no, no perfect system, we can hack it as long mm -hmm. as it's doable to suit your needs. You know what the point of customer? Well, pwede mo ibalik eh. If ever... Talagang kailangan. Yeah, wind cover mo siya. Pwede mo ibalik. Tama. So, it's also built in with a portable sink, sink. na may 45 liter water at the back. So, that takes care of the water system for the Jack episode high loss. Also, underneath, there's a sink para... Ay, sink. Uh, faucet. 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 Yeah. Nag-arbit mo na ba yun dyan? Yo, no? So, the faucet is designed para makapaghugas ng kamay. Yeah. yeah. Pero hindi na ka-on. Yeah, tina sink. tinago siya talaga para if ever subayad, hindi siya tamaan. Tama. So, it's under the level of the ARB bumpers para hindi siya tumama. Yo. All right. And then, up top, it's running the 270-degree awning. And then on this side, tapos na tayo sa electrical, the last part of this car is Jeff's man cave. <laughs> man cave. <laughs> oh, may pangalan na siya. Man, man cabinet. Man cabinet. Yeah, so everything Jack likes to drink in the trail. Okay, we're not drinking while driving eh, para malinaw. Ah. Oo. Oh, so, sa camp lang. Sa camp lang. Pag, pag driving, kape yung tinitira namin. <laughs> Kaya hindi kami antumit. Okay. Tama. Para magdating sa camp, di ba, may bonfire na. So we do have a... Uh, Beer keg. Beer keg with our... Uh, whiskey. Whiskey. Oh. Para just to... Para may chill out. Depende so, kung trip mo. So, with all that, I think this car will be ready for your film video. Yep. Hindi ka mabibitin. And hindi siya nang joke. Next week, babiyahin na to. Yeah. <laughs> Kagayan de oro, next week. Check. Tapos tutuloy ko na, no? Habang we're doing this. Sa lahat ng features, what are two things that you primarily like about the whole build of the science? Your two favorite things? Uh, siyempre, the stove. Oh, Kasi, see. madaling i-set up eh. Madali rin siyang i-put away. So, if ever, since looper tayo, we just park somewhere, right. and then pull it, makakapagluto na tayo. Yon. And then, the second is the DC-DC, the power station. Since, ang unang-unang kailangan natin, is kuryente pag halimbawa nasa campsite tayo. Tama. Kasi pag off-grid, wala talaga mo. Yes. So, things to power up everything. Pag halimbawa, cellphone, charger, cameras, lahat yun. Awesome. Actually, isa na lang ang hindi ko nabigay kay Jack. <laughs> ang panalo ng or, for, best 4 by 4 rig. Kasi <laughs> nadali kami ni Nino, right? Okay, love you all. Pero at least, we are still winners kasi isang yeah. group tayo. Yes. Thank so, you. So guys, that's the uh, Jack episode rig. This is the Project Looper. Live, Looper. Live here at the Manila International Auto Show. Alright, so up here, next car. Jeep Gladiator, named primarily known as Gladys Reyes. Wait, bakit Gladys Reyes? Kasi Gladiator... Yung apelido niya? Reyes, di ba? So... Gladys Reyes. Reyes. Morales. Reyes pa. Basta, Kuya Ray, pasensya ka na. Reyes, Morales. 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 Basta Gladys Reyes, yung pangalan nun. So, Gladiator Reyes. Yun. So, this is the Gladys Reyes. So, Gladys Reyes used to be red. And the first important thing, you probably seen this car in the vlog, 
The first thing we've changed or upgraded, courtesy of Injengo. Grab it, bro. This is the paint peelable paint. Huh? Oh, diba? May mula na laman. <laughs> peel. Wag natin i-peel. Pero peelable paint yan. In short, pula pa rin yung ilalim ng kotseng to. Testing, din nung ride. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Iyak tayo. <laughs> so, this is peelable paint. If you've seen the first generation, ano to eh? Uh, no paint. Yung kulay, uh, it's still the black, uh, parang unfinished Plastic. Paint. Plastic lang. And with the Injenko paint, what happens is mukha na siyang Rubicon. Yeah. So even the hood has been painted and even the roof wrap of front runner has been painted up to the snorkel has been painted. So super clean and everything has been done under and on top. Let's talk about some other stuff in the car. So this is uh, running a Falcon suspension. Uh, shout out to Ads Garage. So Ads Garage did the suspension for this one. Uh, Falcon suspension, 3.5 inch. And then, of course, let's mention the sponsor for the rims. Needle There's tire. a black rhino with needle tires. Uh, black, how about the trail grappler? So similar gauge, yeah, trail, trail grapplers. grapplers. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a 35-inch tire uh, running the uh, black rhino York uh, on gunmetal gray. Uh, so that's the color for, for this. All right, let's move on. The rest of the stuff is done by Overland Kings with the... Uh, I camper, I camper 4X up top on a front runner rack, specifically for the Jeep JT. Um, it's also running Adventure King slides, 14 inch LED lights in the front, cow lights 3 inches. So, on the back, it's an RSI smart cap uh, with a custom, custom wrap uh, design. So, this is a nice to differentiate. No? Yung K-Check, lahat pang, sorry, no? lahat pang looper. Ito, Ito sa kanya. Chicken. Chicken. Nine. Chicken oil. Knives. <laughs> yung mukha ni ah. Ninong Rai sa logo niya. Totoo ba? Oo nga. Ito. Ito siya. Oo. Oo nga. Siya yun. <laughs> Guys, kung ayaw niyo maniwala, check niyo. O, oh, zoom niyo. Yan yung mukha ni Ninong Rai. For the battery system. Yun. Yun, o. Oh. Look at that. Napakalinis. <laughs> so, this is the Mammoth Cyberbox 3600 watts. Um, with all the custom light switches done here. Uh, Ninong Rai logo, and by the way, this just this car just won the best for my overland for Manila International Show 2023. So, palakpangan natin. Thank you, congratulations. Dito na to. Janayan. Janayan. Then, how about the matak mo, Petrovi? Ganun. <laughs> Alright, let's continue on to the back. So, uh, that's the canopy, and all the light switches are already built in. Uh -huh. So, para convenient, no? Para dito sa loob. Then, dito sa labas, you just press that button, may arrow. Oh. This one. Tapos sa uh, likod, meron din siyang mga ilaw. auxiliary ilang. light. Auxiliary light. Para sa kami. Yan. Kaya walang ilaw sa harap kasi ano siya. Uh, parang main main battery power siya. Meaning, mm. pang off-road driving siya. Ito pang camping. So, may differentiation. Okay. In the back, we're also running the Mountain Mule Kitchen. Same as uh, Jack episodes, but it's running a bigger fridge. This bigger is running fridge. a dual. Kailangan ni boss yan. Dalawa, kasi maraming lutoan. So, yeah. 75 liters dual fridge freezer. So, ibig sabihin ng fridge freezer is you can do, pwede dito yung dual zone. Dual zone. Dual yung zone. hindi masyadong, hindi kayo lang ni-freeze, mga meats. Pwede It, dito zero degrees, pwede dito chiller so, lap. So, pag kinung parang bricks on one side, pwede dito, and then the other side yung mga lotoan na kailangan yep. ng sense. So, yun yung flexibility. Okay. The RSI canopy has an RSI table underneath, pero nakalabas yung table. Ease of access. Kaya nilagay natin dito. Para lock down dito, dito di ba? Lock down. Pwede, so, pwede siya ito lang paakit pag ilalock na siya. Yun. So, yun yung alam. Custom jobs that we put here na wala dito ngayon. <laughs> Nakasungkat yan sa chicken oil na oh. nagyan. Nininong rai. Pinadala sa atin yan para shoot yung uh, saktong saktong. Saktong dyan yung chicken oil na nagyan. So, little details like that. Okay. Last but not the least. On this side, we have mounted our uh, King's 4-bar light kit into the 270 degree exo shell of iCamper dito sa taas so that you don't have to work so much to make the light work. You just plug this down and it should turn on. Right now, we just don't have the dual battery so it's not on but basically, built-in light na siya. Tingin ako masama rin, Jake. Mukhang gusto ko yung makakit. Kaya gusto ko ng disco light. Napipil ko may gusto ko yung makakit. Yung uh, tumutugstog, gusto oh, pang-arch yeah. pa yan. Pwede yan. Rock, actually, rock lights yan na uh, ni-retrofit. Kaya umiilaw ng iba. 
diba? Yung mga water ports dito din, diba? Yeah, yung tama. Yung water system na dito kasi yun pa yung para magkaroon ng tubig dito. Correct. And then the water still on the back, 45 meters din. So similar. So I think the point here is the yung mga gamit pwedeng pareho, pero yung pag-execute can is very different. All right? Um, what else we have? Uh, Exo shell and last but not the least, yun na yan. So front. Front. Wings mo. Ilaw. Wings. Ilaw natin. We're Ilaw. running the King's, King's uh, Spot Laser Spotlight and a come up winch with the ARB bumpers front and back. So that rounds up Gladys Reyes. Axe and shovel para pang buhay kung kailangan mo mag-toilet in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Nangyayari yun minsan. Twice the size ba ito nung sakit? Yes, twice the size. Kasi 4X. 4X, so you can sleep 4 people. Yeah. Yung 2X, 2 person. Tapos may kasama rin siyang annex. So if you do get one of these eye campers, comes in an annex if you have uh, companions with you, uh, di ba? Or your wife, your kids. Hindi nung right tested, so alam mo ka tibay. Ah, but super tibay, brad. <laughs> so, alam ko na paano niya i-test yan eh. So basta yun na yun. Okay? Parang yung upuan, yung DOD, di ba? Yung DOD. Basta <laughs> dapat solid yung weight niya. Okay, last but not the least, we have here the project na wala kang pangalan. Uh, um, hindi nakita ni Jack to. Kasi nung dumaan siya, nakatakip pa eh. <laughs> Alright, so last but not the least, we have the Hilux here and the Red Hilux of Overland King. So I like to note that this is a very different type of Hilux because we designed this car for a week for the casual Overlander. Meaning, it's the, both of Jack and Ninong Rai's Cheek and Hilux are over the top. Meaning, all, all custom built for touring, but this one we wanted to do something. Uh, you know, if it's a long, if you're running one vehicle only, we'll be able to use that if, as your main car. You can also use it as your weekend warrior. Right? So, pa so, ibig sabihin, we like it to fit the mall because it's not always on the trail. In short, let's start up the top. It's running the newest i camper. It's called the i camper BDB Blue Dot Voyager, and it's only seven inches thick. So meaning, when this thing is close, super low profile, low profile. pasok sa 2.3 meters na... na 2.3? Oh. <laughs> Ay, hindi. May daya to. Alam yeah. <laughs> you know, tapos eh. Oh, <laughs> three, three. Tapos. Okay. So uh, 2.3 kasi may daya. Pero saka, mamaya yung daya. Yeah, so okay. that's the 10. Um, on the suspension, uh, we are running the Tain suspension. Grabe. Uh, KYB K-Flex in the back. But the secret to this suspension is we're running a custom AR, A, ARB airbag band suspension. Na tinatanong ni Jake kung bakit nangyayari yun. In short, it's running an air suspension. Let me show you right now. Yan, 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 yan. Parang pip my right yan. With the suspension, you're able to lift this car up in the oh. back. Oh. And we're able to lower the car back down. So this is the unique feature of this vehicle. So yes. If they, this is how we fit into 2.3 meters of space. So, na, huh? <laughs> ano? Okay ba? <laughs> Napailing na naman si Jack. So, at the lowest setting, it's actually stock height. Mm -hmm. And if we air it up, let's do it one more time. If we air it up, katulad din ng katulad din ng height ng sakin. Sino? Actually, ginamit kayo yung kotse ni Jack para sukatin yung exact measurement ng 3 by 5. Yun yung reference. Yun yung reference. So, pareho lang yung height niyan. So, ang maximum we can go only up to 35 PSI. Safe, safe, safe na siya. So, then, that's a 3.5 inch lift. But the real purpose kaya namin in, in apply yan, no, is sometimes when we're cooking yeah. or if you're sleeping in a tent, yung terrain hindi flat, eh, di ba? Yes. So, pag may angulo yung uh, uh, the place you're sleeping in, kaysa magkalso. Able, yeah. Case, pero sa ito lang, mas mura naman magkalso. <laughs> but the point is... Ba't mo pahirapan sa sarili mo? Ayun. Pwede naman pigdotin lang. So you can lower the right, or raise the right, and lower the left. So kung anong angle para ma-perfect mo yeah, yung... Let's sagarin ko yung lower or the left. So this is zero on the left side. And then, right side, iangat ko pa ng content. So you can clearly see that the car is tilted on the right side with that uh, setting. So that's the main feature that's different. Of course, let me acknowledge the sponsors also. We have Method Race Wheels. And, and yung bagong ano, bagong, bagong labas. Labas ng Method, yes. And then this is the Nito Ridge, Ridge Grappler, Grappler uh, uh, Hybrid. Hybrid so, tires. 285-70R17s ER from Nito, Philippines. Nandun yung camera. <laughs> <laughs> May intro ka na naman. Lupit ng intro, <laughs> ano? Alright, so Nito is a sponsor for the Ridge Grapplers. Okay, quick, quick ano. 
Ridge grapplers are more quiet than, uh, than uh, the trail grapplers, but it's equally capable. It's also at least 10 ply of rubber. So that's a very nice weekend car or a daily driver. Hindi siya maingay sa dahimik. Yes, that's the good compromise we have. Okay, let's move on. So on the side of the car, we're running a King's shower awning on, on this side uh, for, for you to change. I'm not going to open that right now. And I want to talk about the other systems that included. With the air suspension that we put on the car, we can now have portable air. So now we can air down and air up your tires, not just your suspension, because we onboard air. Na to. Di, nagulat na naman si Jack. <laughs> Wala pa akong compressor eh. <laughs> yeah. So may, si airbag man, may compressor. So built in na siya. Okay. So, so uh, recovery gear is done by Sabre, Sabre Off-Road. So we're running the latest dynamic ropes, kinetic ropes, uh, which is basically almost unsnappable in terms of uh, 22,000 pound tested. Uh, so that's from Sabre. Battery system, we're running a hybrid since it is a weekend setup. There's a new i4-way HS3600, which could run basically a coffee machine. And we literally put a coffee machine there para makita natin. So let's turn that on para mapakita natin coffee machine. This is able to uh, run, uh, we have six 220 outlets, uh, DC, USB, Type 3, Type C, USB 3.0, solar input, car socket, all built into one system. So this is the hybrid between... But you can take it out, right? This one you can take it out. Oh, Tinanggal lang namin. Hindi siya fixed. Tama. So right now, semi-fixed siya, meaning you can travel with it. Pero kung talagang gusto mo ng ano, you can take it out and use it as a portable. Not as ideal because it's slightly heavier than your normal battery because it's 3,600 watt hours. Wow. It's the biggest power. That's basically like three of those Newton power batteries. But this is a good solution and it will recharge in three hours up to 100%. Bilisa. Three hours? Yes, sir. <laughs> Uh, here in the back, we're running the new ARB kitchen system. Para sa, ano. Uh, the difference is the ARB kitchen swings to the side and it doesn't have a sink, but we have uh, put in a custom uh, shower system, sink system, which I'm going to plug in right now so you can see it. Okay, na iwang bukas, ako yung nabasa. Very good. So, as you can see, the, the water is powered. So, we do have an onboard water compressor or water pump. Not water compressor, water pump. So, this now can be used here when you're washing or cleaning. So, this is a hybrid system since it doesn't come with a sink. So, okay, That's then, collapsible to, diba? Yes, yeah, collapsible. And then, the collapsible sink goes in here. May little guy inside. So here on the side, uh, we have uh, put a few more things. So here we're running the kitchen. Pero maganda dito, the front runner kitchen system, nilagyan namin ng hook. And this goes up here. So you can now have a system na nakatago yung uh, front runner kitchen here on the top when the canopy is closed. Water. So, hindi mo na kailangan tanggalin. Wala na. Oo. Oh. Ano, I mean, kaya mo tanggalin sa hook. No, I mean. Tapos dito mo siya lalagay. I mean, hindi mo na kailangan tanggalin ng tanggalin, right? So here we have the domestic water. And domestic water is potable water. So we've incorporated that here in the back. So the separate tank for the domestic water. <laughs> and the... Mm-hmm. Maligamgam, no? <laughs> May kasama ka kasha. All right, so like I said, we're running the domestic water for potable water. So the, the potable water and the onboard water are separate systems. So that's here. Last but not the least, we are running a Breville single boiler coffee machine. Totoong coffee machine. Totoong coffee machine. Uh, yung totoo niyan, kasi kinabit natin sa ibang rig Nespresso. So ito, para full coffee machine na. Dahil mahilig na. talaga. Oo, oh, oh, may steamer yan. Yeah. So it's still warming up. But basically... It's a functional coffee machine because we have the bigger power from i 4 in the 3,600 watts of power. So we can run a real coffee machine in the back. To round things off, we are running the 270 degree eye camper exo shell. This is the biggest awning in the market. Boss. <laughs> biggest awning in the market with 14 square meters of awning space. Uh, completely black out. And I must say eye camper takes care of the details. Check out this part. So we, there is a little slack here, but actually it's already fully deployed. And the little slack allows you, if you're using your awning, you know this, you don't have to push for water. It automatically drips the water down. 
So that's a special feature of the iCamper Exo Shell. Pwede mo ito sinabi sa akin nung mag... Wala pa kasi tayo nun. So ngayon, meron na ulit. Magpa- <laughs> so bibili ako ulit. <laughs> Alam na. <laughs> Kaya, Nambubudol lang. So, ito yung bagong exoshell. So, meron na siyang auto water drip down. And at the end of the day, this is also a freestanding awning, meaning you don't have to deploy this. This is an optional deploy. Freestanding tarin. Freestanding pa rin siya. What I like with the camper also, everything is quite super clean the way mm -hmm. they do it. Let me show you. So, you just put that up. It automatically slides into that. And it locks like that. Ergonomic. Ergonomic design. It's also a hard shell. So this is a hard shell aluminum casing from iCamper. All right. The lights are done by PIA LPX 599 inch. On the top, it's the LED bar from PIAA. The roof rack up top is a mammoth. Mammoth uh, fit out system alley rack and alley bars with max tracks in the top to round out the little things in the car. Last but not the least, of course, Snow Peak uh, supplied all of the little things na kailangan natin, like the cups, the tablewares for this vehicle. So, Jake, after seeing Kanina Project Looper, okay, gana, eh, diba? Mm. Nakita mo yung kanina. Nakita mo sa akin kay Ray, ano yung mga dagdag na pinsan na gusto mo yung dagdag sa kotse mo? Ah, uh, yung awning. <laughs> Mag-upgrade ako ng awning. Kahit isang base ko palang nagamit ko. <laughs> Tapos gusto ko yung mga ilaw. Uh, Kasi the last time na ginamit namin to, medyo kulang siya sa ilaw. Nadagdag pa ng ilaw. Yeah, magdadagdag ako ng ilaw. Yun. Tapos... Tapos? Maliit yung tent. <laughs> Pwede pala apat ni. Eh. Pwede. So guys, therefore we are upgrading to the iCamper 4X. Yeah. And the new iCamper awning. Need I say more? Those are probably the two best sets in the market. Pero maganda to ah. Kasi ito pwede mong lagyan ng solar panels kay Baba. Tama. So yun din yung different sa uh, video. Tapos low profile siya. Yes. Yun yung perks. Or pwede mo rin lagyan ng mga box, box. Mga gamit, mga box. Pwede rin lagyan ng bike. Yeah. So I, I guess at the end of the day, what fits you will be ano bang style gusto mong gawin. And we can design that for... Yeah, magaling mag to my si Joel. Yon. All right, guys. So, uh, again, thank you so much for joining us today in our uh, vlog in uh, MIAS 2023. And thank you, Jack Episodes. Thank you, boss. Always our pleasure for joining us. Lagi oh, naman. Lang po uh, I always say this. Ito yung totoong since day one. Yeah, totoong since day one. Yung... Una-unang rig ko siya bumuo. Yeah, day one, five years ago. Uh, and uh, it's always a pleasure to unang, be able to work. trail. Unang trail. Yeah, unang unang overland. Yes. Joel na. Mm. So, I mean guys, you know, uh, friendships that build over time, ganun talaga. Uh, pinsan kahit wala dyan, pagbalik, okay pa rin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> May hugot. Grab. Pinsok lang. Pasok mo ba yun? Hindi, hindi. Wala. Wala. Yung ayaw maputo. Ayaw, ayaw maputikan ngayon. Kaya may sapato. So, sponsored. Yeah. <laughs> Galing ako ng race kahapon. Sige na nga. Mm. Okay. So, so guys, I'm going to wrap up this vlog. So thank you so much for joining us. So do check us out. So all the three rigs. Again, Project Looper, Project Name the Rig, and Project Gladys Reyes. So that's it for today. So thank you so much, and we'll see you again in the next vlog. Bye.